Hey guys, it's Ann Yorks from The Flower Box, and today I'm going to show you how to make a baby carriage cookie. These cookies are perfect for any baby shower celebration or maybe a gift to somebody that just had a baby. If you already have our baby cookie decorating kit, this cookie would fit in really well with those cookie designs. So today I'm going to show you three ways how to make this carriage Two of them have wet on wet techniques and the third one I'm going to show you a beautiful basket weave technique. So let's cookie it up. I love the shape of this cutter. It's a redesign from Ann Clark Cookie Cutters. The cutter is a little bit bigger and it doesn't have a fragile handle on the cutter. So it's just the perfect shape for a baby celebration. Let's first outline the cookie. I like to start with the wheels because it sets off the rest of the design and makes piping the carriage a little bit easier in a few minutes. I pipe two circles and then I add these little loops that looks like a flower design inside the wheel. I just like the whimsical look of that, but you can also pipe straight lines if you don't want your wheels to have little flowers in them. Then I'm ready to outline the basket area and I'm really just following the shape of the cookie and I work my way around the wheels. So you can see why it's helpful to have the wheels piped first because it sets off the piped line of that basket area. Then I'll pipe the top of the carriage cookie and I'm ready to start flooding in. I'll flood the base with the light pink and then I'm gonna come back and add some wet on wet dots and I'm just spacing these out evenly. I usually like to start in the middle because that also helps with my spacing as well. I'll let that icing area dry and then I'll come back in and flood in the top of the baby carriage. Now that the cookie's dried, we're ready to add some details. I'm going to pipe a couple lines to make the top of the carriage look like it's an accordion, that it could be folded back if it wanted to, but right now it's up just to add some shade to the baby. And after I pipe those lines, I wanna add some frills just to make this cookie look nice and delicate and sweet for the baby theme. So I have a tip number one on my icing bag and I'm piping just little scallops along the edge of those white lines and that just adds such a pretty and simple detail to the cookie. I want to pipe the words baby love on this cookie and I'm just gonna freehand it because it's two four letter words. I'm writing in cursive and just notice that as I'm piping the letters, I'm trying not to double up on my icing. So I'll pipe each letter individually and then overlap the next letter just to try to keep the icing readable. This cookie's almost done. I'm just gonna add three hearts next to the words and hearts on the wheels. And we have such a cute baby carriage cookie. Let me show you a trick to getting those wheels consistent from cookie to cookie. So if you're not comfortable freehanding those circles, you can always use a yellow marker and trace a coupler onto the cookie. And that just happens to be the perfect shape for the wheel. So I just use those little yellow lines as a guide to pipe the circles. And then I'm ready to go in and add my little flower design. And it's just such a great way to keep those wheels the same size from cookie to cookie. So now we're gonna outline the carriage again in the same way. We're just gonna work around those wheels and follow the shape of the cookie to set those outlines. I'm going to show you one more wet on wet design. So I'm flooding in the base with that darker pink. And now I'm going to add some flooded lines. I'm using the pastel, sky blue, and the white. So this is my flood icing. 
and I pipe those lines and then I'm ready to go in and just marble those lines a little bit with the tip of my scribe. So I'm just running my scribe through those lines. And before I'm done with this wet on wet design, I'm going to add some wet on wet dots just to clean up and add a little bit more interest to the base of those scribed lines. That just looks really cool and it's awesome once that cookie is dried and flooded in, you really don't need to do that much more work because the design is already interesting. So this is a great quick technique if you're looking for an accent cookie for your baby cookie celebration. Now I'm going to pipe the lines on the top of the carriage and if you get any little icing pops once in a while, I get that maybe I'm not squeezing too hard or maybe there's an air bubble in the bag. You can always touch your tip back into um, where the icing pop happened and just patch that line. And we're almost done with this cookie. I'm just adding those teeny tiny little scallops. I'm using super light hand pressure as I just bump my way down the line and add that fun detail. Now I'm going to show you my third and maybe my favorite design of this set. This one isn't necessarily more difficult, but it is a little bit more time consuming because we're going to do the basket weave. So first I'm going to just outline the top of the cookie and get those details on there. And now I'm going to focus on creating this beautiful texture on the carriage. So I like to actually outline the carriage again that just sets off the area that I know I want to fit the basket weave in. And I'm going to pipe double vertical lines across the cookie, just trying to space them evenly. This is the start of the basket weave. I'm still using tip number two, and I'm trying to space my lines out a little bit so that I don't have a super tight basket weave. It'll save me a little time if the basket weave has a little bit of a wider spacing to it. Now that the vertical lines are in place, I'm ready to go back in and pipe the short double lines. So these are intended to look like they're weaving in and out of those vertical lines. So I'm just piping two short horizontal lines as I work my way down through the basket area. When you get to a section that just has a little bit of a weird shape to it, you can just wiggle in those lines as best as you can, just to give the illusion that the basket weave is throughout the entire area. Now I'm almost done, I just want to go back to the beginning and finish off where I started to make it look like the basket weave is coming around from behind. I'm going to add the two hearts on the wheels and this beautiful baby carriage is ready to go. Thank you so much for watching this cookie tutorial. I hope you enjoyed learning three different ways on how to make a baby carriage cookie. If you haven't already checked out our baby cookie decorating kit, this cookie would complement that kit so nicely. You can check it all out on flowerbox.com. As always, happy decorating.